Hello everyone, hope you're all well. I'm here today to film a haul video and let me just tell you guys there will be a lot of haul videos coming up. It's Black Friday soon, it's change in season, autumn is just one of my favourites. I love outerwear so be excited, like this video because I have quite a few coming up. But this is a mishmash of what I bought in Barcelona because I went recently. If you don't follow me on Instagram I'll put my handle up here then check that out and also just a few things that I ordered that I'm really interested to show you guys. So I want to first let you guys know that this video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace and you guys know that I've been working with them for a while. They are the platform that I designed my very own business website from and you can do everything on there from designing your business, a shop, Honestly, the world is your oyster and they very kindly have given me a 10% off your very first domain name or website code for you guys. So we'll talk more about them in the rest of the video because I've got something exciting to tell you guys finally. But for now, I'm going to get onto the haul. I think there's a mix here of Massimo Dutti, which, oh my god, I love Massimo Dutti so much. Um, Zara, obviously, H&M, I think a mango and I kind of think that's it. I'm going to talk firstly about the thing that I'm wearing. I love wearing cardigans as tops. Very strange possibly to some of you, like what the hell, but I love wearing a really simple, and this is Massimo Dutti, I'll pop up a picture here, um, cardigan and then just wearing like a vest underneath, some trousers, like jeans, and it's just so comfy, you're kind of warm but you're not too warm, like there's nothing really like, you know, annoying your neck or anything, and I have to be honest, the Massimo Dutti ones are the best managed to get a little bit of a deal when we were away because obviously the euro spain is cheaper just generally um but i feel like they have this one in gray and i feel like i might have to get it because i love it so much so got a what else did i get from massimo Dutti? i also got a pair of shoes which i will insert here because for some reason i didn't pick them again these in the uk are I want to say 90 pounds and i got them for 69 euros or something i wanted a pair of like smarter smarter work and also going out shoes um i just have to break them in which is very annoying let's move on to h&m i actually placed a separate h&m order but i've been having so many fail videos and i know my last one didn't go down so well um everyone has like a rough day sometimes and i think as youtubers we expect to always be like happy 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 and i was just having a really rough day but i still kind of was in the mood to film i also had to do you know what i mean it's just one of those things so yeah, thank you for all of you who actually went easy on me because I'm not someone who generally films when I'm in that kind of mood, but lesson learnt, I guess. So I have a couple of pieces. Um, sizing I find the hardest with H&M. So um, from that haul, I kind of realized that I needed to size down on a few things. Is this what I think it is? Oh, I got a pair of leather look trousers. I'm constantly on the hunt for like the world's best faux leather trousers and let's have a look at these oh are these leggings very packaged very fancy packaging um oh these are like a wide leg leather trouser okay a bit different kind of outside my comfort zone they don't smell cheap which is they don't smell cheap which is fantastic but these are a wide leg let's see how these fit i hope they do fit it's nice that they're stretchy um but ah, oh, let's keep our fingers crossed otherwise if they don't fit me i will just put the picture of the model i also picked this these up in my last h&m purchases that i made but i got these in a size smaller because they were too big and it's just these black drawstring trousers in like a is this called lyocell material um they're very very baggy and loose and i actually got them because they match with this and this is just the same material but in a shirt version basically got those for mainly work at fee because sometimes i just want to be able to chuck something really comfy on i'm there all day um i barely give myself a break at the moment when i'm there and i just want to be comfy but still a little bit different so i'll try this on i've worn the shirt out um i think i wore it in barcelona um like with just leather trousers so the nice thing is you can wear the pieces separate you can wear them together but I really liked it as like a little set. So more about Squarespace, guys. I finally designed my portfolio page. Um, I was just putting it off and off. I wanted a real good array of photos of my results and things like that. 
and I'm so proud of it. It literally took me like half an hour to do. Once you have an idea of how to use their templates, I literally just used a template, popped my own pictures and gave it a header and a subheader and we were done. Um, and I just feel like it looks so professional. I could go on and on and on about how easy it's made my life. The fact that I can integrate my scheduling system on there. They have their own scheduling system. There's just an option really for everybody. And I just feel like nowadays where, you know, having a designer design all of these things for you is an extra expense, especially when like myself, you're starting your own business. You have so many other expenses, stock, decorating, um, you know, I could go on and on and on then yeah it's a really good way of saving money in places where you don't really have to spend money on anymore so definitely make sure to check them out you actually get a two week free trial as well and i have my code for 10 percent off your very first domain name or website oh i think i'm excited for this so i'm really looking for a like quilted waistcoat i got this in a size please so i got a small yes <gasps> let's hope this is cool okay so you know on days that you know they're not that cold but they're kind of cold and you just want to have a bit of outerwear i wanted something I'm wearing pajama bottoms oh i think it's big like i wanted something kind of cool like i don't know do i look stupid i might just leave it on like this for now um but yeah i just wanted something kind of a little bit out there a little bit different but i don't know i think it's too big i should have got an extra small this is the thing with h&m as much as i love their stuff their sizing is so weird like in some things i'm a 12 in some things i'm a medium in some things i'm a small in some things i'm an extra small and i'm not an extra small in anything so very frustrating let's go back to um i'll show you guys zara i got this dress if you follow me again on instagram you'll have seen like a very small picture of me wearing it but I love this dress. I think it was like 50. It's definitely see-through at the top. So you have to wear a kind of either a nicer bra or just a nude bra. But I loved the colors of it. You can wear it kind of dressy. You can wear it kind of casual with like boots. And yeah, I'm always on the lookout for dresses like this. And this has just been something that I know I'll wear. And also I feel like I love red at the moment. Like literally obsessed with red the only thing that i've really kept from zara and you can see actually i've worn them are these boots i'm actually on the hunt for a pair of boots that are low chelsea boot who remembers the oog days when i bought those chelsea boots from office i think there was the most money i've ever spent on anything i think they were 90 or 80 pounds and i wore them to death i remember seeing them on like blogs and things like that not those exact ones but i remember all the like the scandy girls wearing chelsea boots and i was like I need a pair of Chelsea boots and I loved those things. I think I wore them literally to the ground. But basically I'm looking for a pair of those again, a little bit more flat, not the ones with the real platform to them because I just, on my legs, I don't find them as flattering. But I saw these and I loved them. These are kind of like the Western high heel cousin. I wore these with this dress with bare, bare legs. Um, and I loved them because I'm someone who I've ordered, especially recently, so many boots from Zara that are higher a leg and they don't go past my ankles. I have I have very chunky ankles um, and these luckily go past them and they actually, because they're higher up, I feel like they make my legs look slimmer. It's all about the illusions, you guys. So yeah, these were not cheap. I think they were like 80, but such such a good buy. I'm gonna take this off because I have something else to show you guys, although I will try it on better. I went to Brand Cross with my mum yesterday and I saw this and I'd actually, I've placed a separate mango order which is coming um, in time for like the next week, but I didn't for some reason buy this because I feel, I feel like on the model it looked shiny and I really, really didn't want it to look shiny. Now, it does kind of look it sometimes in some lights, but in real life, it really, really is much more matte than I thought. And it looks so much like the Frankie Shop version of this, which I'm not gonna buy. Um, and I love the fact that it's lightweight. Um, I feel like possibly I could have lost as much time as I could have if I bought this a few weeks sooner. But sometimes, especially when I'm walking to the station nowadays, I get really, really warm. I want something water repellent, which this supposedly is. Um, 
but also kind of cool and light. So now literally all I'm waiting for is like my perfect pair of jeans, which I still feel like I haven't found. And also my perfect, uh, and also my perfect pair of boots and then I'll be set. But I really like this jacket. Um, I was wearing a chunky knit when I tried it on in Brent Cross yesterday. And also I would say definitely size down. It looks horrendous right now, but it's actually really cool. Um, and I got this in an extra small. So if you don't like these kind of things to look too puffy on you, which I certainly don't, then um, yeah, size down. I'm gonna keep this on. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, I'm gonna go and try all these things on now. Um, let me know if you are excited for the Black Friday content. I'm also thinking, and let me know down below, of doing a like buying guide. This is the time that I do all of my Christmas shopping, like for my friends, like my manager, um, like my mum, my uh, boyfriend's sisters, because you get such good deals, um, there really isn't a better time and I just feel like it's the time where I save to, to do that. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. And I was also thinking of doing more like, not self-help videos, but also videos where we kind of talk about topics, like so many of you guys talk to me about finding love like business etc so i was really thinking of doing a video on like finding love um sounds so cheesy when i say it out loud but i love like lisa lisa d1's videos hrh collection did like a video that was so casual but lovely to watch about how you know she found her partner and you know it's just a nice thing when you hear it from someone who is impartial in your life so let me know if you like the idea of that and I'm getting warm. So also make sure to check out Squarespace. You guys, honestly, best, best decision I ever made designing my website through them. The 10% off code on your first domain name or website will be here. I love you all lots. Take care and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.